is Kevin with Apogee. In this video we'll take a look at target servers. A target server helps you decouple the endpoint URL from a target endpoint configuration in an API proxy. Each target server is referenced by name in a target endpoint HTTP connection. So why is this important? Well, let's take a look at this example. Here we have one API proxy connecting to one backend. In this case, the backend URL is hard-coded in the API proxy. But when we have multiple environments, each with its own backend, migrating the API from test to production introduces a problem. It will require to manually update the backend URL after you have migrated it from test to production. This is the problem that target server solves. So let's move to Apogee Edge. Here we'll see um, an example API. You see that in a target connection, the URL is hard-coded. So let's update this with a target server definition. So for that, I'll navigate to the environment configuration. Here I can create my target server definitions. That's one. Let's also create one for the production environment. They both have the same name, but they each have a different URL they point to. That's it. Let's move back to my API. And now reference um, the target server definition from the HTTP target connection. That's done with this little piece of XML. It's a load balancer tag and in there one or more server elements. There's also a pop um, that points to a pop on the target server. So that's it. Now I can deploy my API to production and also to test. And they will each be using a different URL to the to the backend. So what about this load balancing? Well, I can use more target server definitions in the load balancer element. In this case I have three with an algorithm tag which defines the load balancing algorithm that's used. So in this case the API will do a round-robin load balancing algorithm over three backends. Other algorithms that are possible are weighted and maximum failures. So that's it. Target Server makes it easier for you to deploy APIs to multiple environments and it also supports load balancing. Thank you for watching.